Good morning on this Saturday. It is February the 11th. I'm Chris Allen here on the Sam Channel, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter, sponsored by Ace Hardware Marketplace, where today and tomorrow you can get a dozen roses for $19.99. Ace Hardware Marketplace, that, that place right there. <laughs> Yeah, it's a hardware store, as I mentioned yesterday. Yes, it is for real. Plus, they've got uh, tool bundles for guys. They've got fashion bundles for women. It's everything. It's not your normal hardware store. Not anymore. It's Ace Hardware Marketplace, and that's the difference. Okay. All right, we are closing in on Valentine's Day, which is Tuesday. Um, between now and then, pretty quiet weather. Uh, for the first time in several weekends, I don't see anything happening, not around here. Uh, skies are mostly clear this morning as you're looking at the satellite here at 525 a.m., Central Time. Now, there's some activity once you go into the higher elevations of far eastern Kentucky, the Virginias, eastern Tennessee. There's some winter weather advisories and some freezing fog and stuff like that going on. Uh, moisture associated with a weak system, upper weak system, moving through that area, setting some of that off. But for us, it's just a uh, little bit of even patchy fog this morning. Now, up around the Ohio River, there could be some freezing fog just because temperatures are right close to freezing. It's uh, 33 right now. Uh, but uh, other than that, uh, we're not looking at much going on today. It's going to be a pretty quiet day. It's going to be a day kind of like yesterday with that mix of clouds and sunshine. We'll see plenty of sunshine, I think, uh, as or more sunshine today than what we saw yesterday uh, across the area. And temperatures, yeah, pretty seasonable. I mean, we're going to run maybe a few degrees warmer than the average by a few degrees. Now, the average high is at 50, okay? That's where we are. We have jump from the 40s for average highs now to 50 and we'll continue to climb stair step through the 50s over the next several days and weeks progressively getting warmer as the days get longer that's what happens when you transition from winter to spring and that's where we are so today how about 52 we hit 53 officially yesterday in bowling green so about the same thing i think today and as you see, we do climb back into the 60s and look at Wednesday, the day after Valentine's Day, the 15th, 71 predicted high temperature, 67 on Thursday. Then look what happens on Friday. Boom. The bottom falls out. So we go from around 70 degree weather to 40 degree weather, that's a 30 degree drop. And then overnights, we go from near 60 to the 20s. That's almost a 40 degree drop in temperature. And you know, it can happen any place, any time. When you see a drop like that here in the middle of February, that's not a good sign. That's kind of a red flag as we're used to around here that something nefarious may be going on, and it's a possibility. It's not a guarantee that we're going to get severe weather, but this is certainly when you see this kind of pattern setting up in the middle of February, it's kind of a red flag. Hey, look Look at this. Look at this. Look what's happening. That big temperature change, that's a dynamic. Winds are a dynamic. How much moisture is coming in is a dynamic. So we got plenty to look at here. Uh, on Thursday into Friday. And so that's going to be a, a key time to be weather aware, okay? Remember what I always said for years, know the weather before it knows you. And that still holds true today. So you're knowing it. Now we'll see what happens. Again, not a guarantee. I'm not saying there's going to be severe weather 
but just looking at this alone tells me that something's up. We'll just have to let this bake for a few days and see what happens. After that, we cool down a bit, but then we moderate right back into the 60s at the beginning of next week. So you can see we climb up, fall down, then climb up once again, and we'll probably fall back down after that one. It is the, you know, what I refer to as the transitional period between uh, the end of winter and the beginning of spring, which is, you know, 40 something days away officially. But, you know, once we get into March, March 1st, uh, speaking uh, on a meteorological scale, that's kind of when spring starts for, for weather people, March 1st, even though it's going to be what, the 20th, March 20th, 21st, somewhere in there, uh, it officially starts on your calendar. But we know that beginning March 1st, and sometimes even before that, we can have severe weather uh, anytime, any place, anytime around here. <laughs> it's just, it's just the way it goes, right? Especially in recent years. Okay, let's take a look at Kentucky Mesonet uh, temperatures as of 530. Teens and 20s to the north where you see some of these purples, but everybody else, you know, it's not that bad. It's not that cold. Uh, in the 30s, you know, you may find if you're out this early, 530, 6 o'clock in the morning, uh, you're going to find maybe some frost on your windshield. If you're out early and you have to uh, get out, you're going to have to probably defrost your vehicle but i mean this is this is not too horribly bad um a little chilly but not cold cold at least not around here the colder temperatures are where we've seen the skies clear from some of those clouds we're still going to have clouds around today but it won't be uh maybe as numerous clouds like we had yesterday so We'll see uh, what comes from that. All right, let's get to the forecast. And uh, appreciate the feedback yesterday from many of you who said you like this map the best because it's easy to understand. It has some clarity to it. It's not as, I don't know, it's, it's got bigger. Everything is bigger. You can see Kentucky better. I wish there was a way to zoom into Kentucky, but when I try to zoom, like it wants to go to the Northwest. It won't go. <laughs> I'm like, well, that's not good, but uh, I'm working with uh, these folks to try to get that part of it worked out. So we'll just go with what we have. You can see the time up here. So I'll put this into motion. This is a, this is showing that high pressure. And I like that I am able to draw, you know me, I like to draw. So because it, it just puts the attention where it needs to be. So here is a nice dome of high pressure, double barrel highs that are sitting right over us. This is Kentucky and Bowling Green is right about there where these crosshairs are. And then you can see to the south of us where we have some of that little bit of uh, light rainfall that's coming through. So I'll put this into motion, showing you as we go through the day, high pressure is still in control. Now, some of this moisture wants to try to work into southeastern Kentucky and where we see here in the higher elevations from, well, almost Richmond, Virginia, down toward uh, Asheville, North Carolina, far eastern Tennessee later today. As you see here, this is actually getting into early Sunday morning. Um, there's going to be a little bit of a mix, but none of that comes our direction. It may graze parts of southeastern Kentucky tonight, early tomorrow morning. But other than that, this thing is just going to travel on up the East Coast through the Virginias and the Carolinas. This is uh, now Sunday night, about 7 o'clock. You can see that everything's pretty quiet here, and I do anticipate us to see some clouds from this kind of uh, drawing back into Kentucky, but not the precipitation, just the cloud cover.
because the atmosphere is still pretty dry from this uh, high pressure ridge. So uh, I think we're going to leave any precipitation out of the forecast. That's not to say some of you that live far to the east over the Cumberland Plateau, Lake Cumberland area, maybe further east as you travel up I-75 toward London, Kentucky, Somerset, Richmond, over toward uh, certainly Pikeville and places like that. Yeah, you may get some sprinkles or light rain, but I don't think it's going to be much more than that. And then we stay quiet in the Monday, partly sunny skies. You see uh, everything is flowing pretty nicely here. Uh, this is about midday Monday. Um, here we go. We continue into Monday afternoon, into Monday evening. Now, this is the system that we're going to watch uh, that's starting to organize or will start to organize here in the South Central Plains and will start to move east. High pressure will still be dominating our weather as we roll into Tuesday. This is about midday Tuesday. Notice we're still dry, but here comes this moisture that is going to work its way in to the Mid-South region, and eventually it's going to bring us the next chance of rain as soon as Tuesday evening. So here we go. We roll it in, starts to move a little light rain showers. This has got us timed about Tuesday evening, Tuesday afternoon and evening. High pressure is still dominating here, but it may take a while for some of this moisture to start to saturate the atmosphere here in southern Kentucky. But you see that that's just light rain. This is the heavier stuff plus area of low pressure. It's a fairly, fairly good and deep low pressure system at 987 millibars. So it's going to continue to push eastward. And then the bulk of the rains for us are really going to come Thursday. And we'll, as you saw in the 10-day blender, we'll start out really warm, like upper 60s to low 70s. And then here comes that uh, low pressure system. And then the cold front uh, will be pushing through. And why am I not seeing? Oh, I know why. Let me go into my layers here because I want you to see um, everything that you should be seeing. Uh, let me move that layer and move this. No, I can't move that one. Huh. I'm trying to see. This should be on the bottom. Ah, there we go. Okay. I had my layers in the wrong place. You couldn't see the low pressure system. Look at that. It drops to 988 low pressure system and the cold front. Okay. That's where this is. Uh, let's look at the time here. Wednesday. This is early Wednesday. Okay. So this would be uh, approaching midnight into the wee hours of Wednesday morning. Cold front just to the west of us. Let me uh, put this back into motion here. And you can see that we get a break actually Wednesday afternoon. So that, that system goes east of us, but then there's a little bit more to show you here. There's another piece of energy. Look at this one coming in. Plus it taps into Gulf moisture. And let me stop before all these drawings get in the way. Yeah. Look at that. 985. Now that's a, much deeper low. This one is a little bit slanted to the left. You know what that means. Powerful cold front. Look at the winds and the colder air wrapping around very tightly. Look at all those lines. Equal lines of pressure. We call them isobars. And the colder air being drawn in back behind it. That's going to be where the snow is setting up. Iowa Missouri, uh, Jeff City, Missouri, Kansas City, going to be set up for that. This is on Thursday at midday, Thursday midday. So we're looking at Thursday midday, the cold front coming through, 
even though we'll start that morning with rain and thunderstorms and warm temperatures near 70, the temperatures behind that front during the day will start to fall pretty rapidly. And that's where we're going to turn much colder as we go through time. So here we go into Thursday afternoon and evening. We're not going to get any snow out of this. This is just going to be colder air moving in as we get into Friday and on into Saturday. High pressure builds back in and everything dries out here over the east for the upcoming uh, next weekend. Wow, I do love this. This map it allows me to draw on here and it doesn't lose my drawing as I move. Well, it's starting all over now. I have to make sure I stop it but it doesn't move. Let me go all the way to the end here. That's Sunday night. So look at that. And we won't see anything else until maybe next Monday after that. So it looks like we're going to end up with the possibility of two weeks, two weekends in a row without rain or snow, or anything very significant, that's, uh, that's pretty good. Actually, actually, uh, that's not too bad. Now it's, you know, the, the temperatures are really just seasonable or seasonal for this time of the year. 50, as I mentioned, is where we should be. And that's where we're going to end up today. Maybe low fifties. That's all well and good. Uh, so I think we're off to a nice run of weather here, but it is going to get rainy and maybe even stormy starting, well, rainy Tuesday afternoon and evening, a break Wednesday. It's Thursday of next week when we could see some possible severe storms. Okay, that'll do it for this Saturday. Thank you all for watching as always. God bless you. Super Bowl weekend. I'll be here tomorrow morning to do a Super Sunday. <laughs> forecast for you. In the meantime, God bless you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you right back here tomorrow morning.